Let's find the products of these matrices. And the first matrix for number one, we are multiplying a row by column. And we take the first row, multiply it by the first column of the second matrix. Okay. So that means negative 4 has to be multiplied by 11. Okay. So we have negative 4 times 11. Afterwards, we have positive 1 multiplied by 8. So we add. 1 times 8. We then use the second row multiplied by the only column, column 1 of the second matrix. So we'll have 0 multiplied by 11. So 0 times 11 plus 3 times 8. Okay, 3 times 8. Work this out. Minus 4 times 11, minus 44. 1 times 8 is 8. We add on 8. 0 times 11 is 0. Plus 3 by 8 is 24. Okay, the end result is minus 44 plus 8, negative 36, 0 plus 24 is 24. Let's do number 2 now. So number 2, we have 1 row times the first column. So that will give us. That will give us 1 times 9 so we have 1 times 9 plus 3 times 7 and that will produce one entry now we move on to row by column by the second column as seen in blue. So it's 1 multiplied by 10. Plus 3 by 6. 3 by 6. We simplify these. And we will get 1 9 is 9 plus 7 3 is 21. Then we get 1 by 10 is 10 plus 6 3 is 18. 3 by 6 is 18. The okay, final answer 9 plus 21 is 30. 10 plus 18 is 28. Okay, so these are our two answers, and let's just do a deeper analysis of these matrices. So let's go to number one and find out what is the order of this matrix. There are two rows one, two, okay, and then there are two columns one, two. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. The other matrix has 2 rows, 1 column. That's a 2 by 1 matrix. The answer has 2 rows, 1 column. So this is a 2 by 1 matrix. Okay. As we observe, the inner numbers are the same. They are both two and therefore the matrices can be multiplied. 
and if we look at the outer numbers 2 by 1 and we compare to the order of the matrix we see that well the first number is 2 which is the number of rows of the first matrix and the second number is 1 which is circled as the number of columns so this is how we can foresee what our product will look like okay let's look at number two now first matrix one row two columns so this is our one by two matrix second matrix two rows two columns So this is our 2 by 2 matrix and the answer 1 row 2 columns which makes it a 1 by 2 matrix okay so the order of the matrix is the number of rows times the number of columns and if we look here numbers on the inside are the same we are both two therefore the matrices can be multiplied and if you look at the outer numbers one by two compare it with the order of the answer we see that the first number is one which is the number of rows of the first matrix and the second number is two which is the number of columns of the second matrix so we can predict the order of the product if we know the orders of the matrices being multiplied. Thanks for watching and I hope this was useful. Have a good day.